Hello everybody, this video is going to show you how to create a Screencastify recording using the free extension. So if you already have the extension, you'll see this small icon in your toolbar up along the top. If you don't have it, no worries, you can simply go to screencastify.com to find it. Um, and then you would be able to install it. Now, I already do have it installed, so mine will look a little bit different. It says that it's already installed. Yours will um, give you the option to install it from here. The other possibility is to go to chrome.google.com, and then you would be able to go to the web store. And from there, you can search Screencastify to find the extension. Now, this extension has been whitelisted, like I said, so you can um, feel free to add it safely to your district account. Um, mine again has been added, so it's already marked as that. If I didn't have it already, this add to Chrome would be up here. And so for this extension, I would just simply click add to Chrome and follow the instructions to get it added. Once you have Screencastify and you are ready to record something, you will simply click on the icon and it will show you a couple of things. A small window like this will open up and you have the option of doing the browser tab, which would be just this one tab or you can also do your entire desktop. So this middle option gives me the possibility of switching in between tabs, which is what I'm doing right now. Or you could do just yourself, which would be the webcam only. You can turn your microphone off and on. So if you wanted a silent video that which is just showing students how to do something, you can use that. Um, and then also your webcam. And here is my webcam. It is kind of nice to have yourself there so that your students can see you while you're talking and you can move it around. So that is a nice possibility as well. There are a few more options down here. When you click here, it will show you the possibility of a countdown to get started and some drawing tools, which are down here in the bottom. So let's take a look at a website using some of those annotation or drawing tools. I'm just gonna move myself up again. You would wanna be somewhere so that you're not covering anything. You do have the possibility here. Right now I'm on my cursor or my mouse. If I click on this first one, it will make a light gray box around it and you'll notice that now when I am moving my cursor around, it puts like a spotlight or um, a flashlight almost on top of it. So that's a nice feature to have if you want that. You can also click here and what will happen is you will make the cursor go away. So if you wanted to be showing something and you wanted that cursor to go away, you have that ability as well. When you are here, I'm gonna turn my little spotlight off and my cursor and now I'm going to click and make that gray box go around the red highlight link. So if I click on something, now you'll see a red circle goes around it. And that is another way to draw attention to what you want your viewers to be watching and paying attention to. So for example, again, I can simply click on there and it will go with the red circle. Nice way to draw attention. You also have a pen tool here that you can use. You can change colors. Um, you can draw directly on something. Again, you can have more than one color if you choose. And so you might want to do some underlining or circling, whatever you need. Don't worry if you are as good as me, <laughs> that's a joke. You have an eraser tool. You can erase just a small section of something or you can click on this square and it will erase everything that you've drawn with the annotation tool. Um, obviously you have the webcam here. Mine has already been in use. So again, I can move that around wherever I want so that I'm not covering anything up. When you are finished with your recording, you would simply click back on this icon and you'll see here that it pops up a small window. You can click on the red box with the stop symbol inside of it. And then a new window is going to open up that is going to allow you to name your recording. So you can simply type up here. It usually says untitled or just Screencastify and you will put in the title that you choose. Now, it automatically saves for you. And since you are in your redlandschools.net account, it will go to your Google Drive. It creates a folder in there called Screencastify and you'll be able to find all of them in there the more that you add. You also have the ability to share it. So for example, you could share it directly to your Google Classroom, which is really nice. So um, no reason to put it into something as far as your drive and then go in and create an account. I'm sorry, an assignment. When you click on share to classroom, it lets you choose the classroom and then you create an assignment. You could publish it out to YouTube. So if you have a YouTube channel that you're using regularly, you could use that. Um, you do have the ability of getting an, a 
embed code. So for example, if you wanted to put it onto another website that you use with your classroom, you do have that as well. The download options, when you click on there, it gives you the ability of downloading it as an MP4, as well as a GIF. And so a GIF is a short video that repeats over and over again. For example, this right here is a GIF. It's just doing the same thing over and over again. Um, they usually have no sound. And so you can create one of those on Screencastify as well. So if you wanted to keep showing things over and over, um, like the directions to find something, this is a nice way to do that. Um, all right, so Screencastify is a nice extension to have. It is free. Um, it is unlimited on the number of videos that you can make, and it gives you the ability to trim things. So you'll see here that you could trim the beginning and the end if you wanted to. In the free version, that is the only editing that you have available to you. Um, you are limited to a five minute video as well in the free version, um, but you could make multiple versions and then put them together, for example, in Wii Video if you chose to make something longer. Um, hopefully this will get you started with Screencastify. Let us know if you have any questions.